What's up guys, today we are watching season 5 episode 4 of Peaky Blinders. So last episode Arthur found out that Linda was talking to a friend of like this other person and I guess you could say he got jealous because he went and beat the shit out of that man to death. It kind of pissed me off because it's like he didn't have to do that but He's an angry person. But not only that, Tommy left Arthur in charge of the dude that um, lost his son. And that dude ended up going off, going after the Billy Boys himself. But in the end, Arthur had to go save him from getting killed by them since, you know, he killed one of theirs basically. Or wait, no, he only hurt one of theirs. But still, they were going to get revenge. But yeah i'm ready to see how they continue out with their whole thing so i guess let's just get into the episode mr shelby my bullets ache to get inside your tinker head i didn't know he was meeting the the billy boys there Boy. Of course he's not going to be phased because he knows he wouldn't do anything. You know it's a pity. I was looking forward to killing you. Not the buck of a long queue. How is that a way to start off a conversation? Into black horse with black feathers to pull a black carriage with your body in it. Should you break the terms of the white flag? Okay then, I didn't expect him to say the money was for that. Once we've got that fixed, aye? Then we'll have all the names and numbers of the first division referees. Shit, shit, shit. Come on, come on, come on, listen, listen to me. I've literally never seen someone this scared of working for them. Like, yeah, there were other people that like kind of seemed like scared or offish, but this dude is like really showing it. One of the things I don't like. You ever touch my family? Ever. I wouldn't be threatening them. Because that did sound like a threat. It's all right, Mrs. Connors. You can carry on. It's just me, brother. So tell me how it happened. Who the hell was that dude? He went downstairs. He killed them. He strangled them, all three. <laughs> <laughs> Not Arthur looking shook. <laughs> Their singing was the only pretty thing in my life. We were expecting actual dead bodies of people, man. Go to the Bull Ray Market today and buy a three new golf inches. And have them delivered to your door. But, uh, same colours and, you know, feathers. <laughs> the next fellow wants to see Bozi. Do you know his face? No, he's Chinese. Chinese in our pub. You've never seen. Was there a Chinese enemy yet? No, so. Or maybe I'm wrong. Finn and Arthur. That's the dude from earlier. Why did I already forget his face? I like fucking everything. 
boy situations this Finn get himself into. I mean, I don't blame him. I didn't expect that either. Oh, we can all have a talk. How was your father, brother? Yeah, they didn't shoot him. Knew it. Are you giving the man drugs? It is the purest opium that has ever arrived in Europe. No salt, no flour, no lies. Pure truth. So you're there to sell or give that man drugs or to be able to sell it there? Approximately 1,190,000 pounds. On international markets. So does that mean you're gonna take the deal? Or he is? What the fuck is going what on? Are you Finn? Finn, calm yourself, buddy. I didn't I didn't expect him to straight up just run in there with a the gun. This is a gift, Mr. Shelby. Just off goodwill. I guess accepted. I mean, he did just have a gun held against Finn. Well, he had someone else do it, but how is that going to make up for it? Not her good shoes. Sorry for calling the meeting here, but the location. <laughs> Arthur's like, why the fuck are you barefoot? <laughs> that always said it. Ask yourself, would he turn down two hundred and fifty thousand pounds to drive four boats? Up the canal, but no prospect of inspection. What if he got caught, though? That's half of what Michael lost in Chicago. I will ask him to take charge of this business. Michael's position will be reinstated in the company. Oh, so he's going to get Michael to do it. Please don't fuck up, Michael. What have you heard, Paul? The man you cut went to the police, but we dealt with it. Oh, I thought the dude died. He looked like he died. I would also say it is time to give up on Linda. Find someone else. I would, I would say that too, but it's also like they got kids together. So it's like, What's going to happen with him and his kids? The war with the Billy Boys is postponed. We've made peace. We're going to do business together. When that business is done, it's all yours. Is he... Is he going to actually listen to that, though? Just let me understand you. Do you mean that Polly is part of this deal? Yeah. He's gonna marry Polly? But it's like arranged, man. Why couldn't it be real? Polly wants you to propose in the proper way, and then she will give you her terms of acceptance. Inviting you for this purpose was Polly's idea. I did not expect this to be happening this episode. He's really gonna propose to Polly. And this date is your wife's birthday. Party is for her. Oh man, why did I automatically think about Grace? <laughs> Fuck. He meant Lizzie. Now that we are going to be conquering the world together, we need to have no secrets. We should know each other's weaknesses. I don't think so. 
If we have met before, your wife and I could even renew our acquaintance. Well, I'm invited to stay the night, yes? He is confident that she would not do that to him. So, you know what? You can fuck off. Lady Curzon, all of whom you are fucking. If such things were to take place on a narrow boat, the church would get involved. How do you straight up just know that about that man? And all three? To stay the night with whichever member of your family finds favor. Now, if you don't mind, I was about to leave. I need to lock up my office. Man really knows everything. I love that. Do what they tell you to do. You don't even have to rub the lamp anymore to summon the genie. Why is he still visioning her? Did he take some of the stuff that the other dude left for him? But then again, he was visioning her before that, so... Why did that make me think he was thinking about doing that to himself? What you doing, broski? Do you want a drink? No. No? No, I have some information for the intelligence officer. Our conversations with Mosley. Is he not gonna question why dude is staying there? He's in a robe. I do. And I looked down. And Grace was there. But she was still alive. You, now you're finally telling someone about your visions about Grace. Well then at least throw away your opium. It's that that causes the visions. Just throw it away. While it's there, it's a temptation. Oh yeah, the opium shit. That's what I was talking about earlier. Was it that? Well, that kid of yours arrives. Keep it away from me. I thought you said give it away for a second. He said keep it away, okay. I think. To reopen those books and become a managing director. So I've come back from Detroit to become a coal man. Be happy that he's actually given you something. This is your opportunity, Michael. There is more money in this than that is in all the other parts of our business put together. It's kind of like, should you be putting that kind of shit on Michael since what happened to the other thing? I don't know. Like, I'm, I'm hoping he doesn't fuck it up. So I'm trying to have faith in him, but... <laughs> you what? I'll consult my wife. Your father ran this business for a bit. Is it so bad that he wants to actually talk it through with his wife? He's kind of being respectable about it, so good on you. I think golden brown is more to her taste. Especially when you tell her how much money you're going to her. Maybe she wouldn't care about the money. Oh. <clears throat> Ten sacks to start with, so you can test the market. Then we'll do them boat loads. Cash payment, unloading. Well, for that I made, it'll have to be a check. Don't take checks. It'll be a check. He already said he don't take checks. So you're gonna have to... Our mutual friend in London, Mr. Mosley. Okay, so Mosley has to write it. Oh, you mean you're bold enough to skim the Chinese? <laughs> you have some kind of death wish, Mr. Shelby. Everyone thinks this man has a death wish. 
get from Shanghai, seven tons each. Stand to make approximately a million pounds per annum. The company will make three. She's shocked now. So how are you gonna feel about that? For a million pounds a year, we do. What happens if you get caught? Tommy has friends. What if those friends don't work out? Oh lord. Actually, I think Mr. Mosley's a baronet. Why did he just throw his shit at him? Couldn't just hand it over? Okay, it's Tommy and Lizzie. And who might I ask are you? I am the queen amongst the Romanies. That's Polly Gray, bitch. Will he remember you? All I remember is I drank too much champagne. I wasn't taking cash. She was a different person back then, man. Start, I suppose. He lays a fucking hand on you. He will be meat for Johnny Dogs. As he should. <laughs> In society, you greet a guest. You don't leave them hanging. Looking around like a fucking dog. <clears throat> Before we join the others. He's got problems. He's never seemed like this before. If I sign a check guarantee for this man, it is proof of a connection between me and him. Something you could later use against me. It doesn't even seem like he was thinking of it like that, man. And I thought he was about to just throw that paper in the fire. But now you will learn my weakness is a tendency to trust people. Do you have a pen? So what are we going to do with that information? Are we going to use that against him somehow? There. Your guarantee of trust. Now perhaps you could introduce me to a wonderful wife. Why does he always want to just meet his wife this episode? To rub it in his face that maybe he did meet her? Lizzie, if we were to strike from our guest list every man in Birmingham who you... Yes or no? Fucking... So she does remember him. I'm sure, Mr. Shelby, in the spirit of our honest relationship, you won't mind me saying, it was a bottle of champagne and an evening well spent. I swear, you are ballsy, man. <laughs> I can't believe Arthur really fell asleep. But I do feel bad that he's alone, but... He's gonna propose! Okay. Was that a certain kind of look? Holly Gray, Gypsy Queen, will you marry me? A poor commoner who loves you? Hell yeah, Polly. that oh. 
I was so ready for it to be Grace for some reason. I was like, hey, you're not bringing her back from the dead, but I was hoping. No, you pinky blinded or rot. In fucking hell! You're kidding me. Oh, so much of her. Yeah, Polly. Period. Well, I mean, people barely liked her anyway. <laughs> I'm sorry, but like, I know there were a bit of people that didn't like Linda. I was like, kind of one of them, but it's like, I had times where I liked her and then I didn't like her, but <laughs> I didn't expect her to die this episode. Like, for some like reason, as soon as I saw someone coming from the car, I automatically just thought Grace because she reminds me of Grace sometimes. She's blonde, short hair, you know, she kind of looks like Grace. So I was like, they're bringing Grace back from the dead, but we saw her shot down. I was just hoping, but I didn't think that she would actually try and go after Arthur and them. Mostly just Arthur, but it's like, I was like, is he really about to die again? Cause I already experienced that at the end of season four. And then it was pr possibly gonna happen again, but then Polly came in clutch. I love Polly, oh God. Where was the other dude though that she was, that she got engaged to? It's like, I somewhat know his name, but I'm not gonna try and say it because I'm gonna butcher it because it's kind of hard, but I'm gonna have to look that shit up. But that's besides the point. The way that Mosley and, what's Michael's wife's name? I already forgot her name. But the way they looked at each other, it's like I feel like they never met before, but also it's just them looking at each other made me feel like they somehow did. And it kind of scares me because what if she's behind the scenes and she fucks everything up? Oh God. I'd, I'd feel bad for Michael because she is also, she is pregnant. But would that even affect anything? I don't know. It's just like, I'm hoping that that's not the case, but Tommy is going through some shit right now, especially being on that opium stuff. He needs to get off, but it doesn't seem like he's going to. And he has seven tons of that shit. And yeah, he's transporting it, but you never know. He could take a little bit more. He could ask for a little bit more or something. I don't know. But like, but like I am so excited for Polly getting married. Like, I guess it's kind of not in the way that I was hoping it would be because yeah, she deserves a shot at real love. And if she loves this guy, power to her. But it's just like, it's, it's too arranged in a way. Like, yeah, he got down on one knee, proposed, and she's gonna give him like her agreement shit. But I don't know. I just feel like it should have been in a totally different way. But power to her, she's getting married. I'm happy for her. She finally, she's finally getting something good. Cause I mean, like I do like that dude. So it's like, I'm happy for her. She deserves it. She deserves happiness. I love her. <laughs> but it's like, I kind of figure now, Tommy has to know that dude is Ada's baby daddy because He's straight up just staying at her house in a robe. Who else would let someone do that, you know? I just feel like they, I don't remember him, like them discussing it. So it's like, 
I never knew if he actually found out yet, but that has to give him some kind of clue, you know? <sighs> I'm just ready to see what they're gonna do with Linda. Well, what do I mean what they're gonna do with Linda? Linda's dead. Are they gonna have a funeral for her? I don't know. Does she deserve one? What about his kids? <sighs> no, I kind of feel bad. But yeah, I'm ready to see what's gonna happen next episode with that shit. So I guess come back for episode five. <laughs>